Good news, I don't know if you saw my last video, but I was talking about how annoyed I was that the weather had been so good in Wales for like four or five days straight, hence in a cloud. A cloud is coming this afternoon. Come on cloud, hurry up. Uh, Mid-afternoon update, still not a single cloud. And there are a couple of photos I want to get that rely on clouds because I don't want really harsh shadows. So, I've been waiting patiently for an overcast day, which is common as muck in Wales usually. And luckily today, that's happened. And so the plan is to go to two locations. Slight complication, I only know where one of them is. And I'm 25 to 30% sure where the other one is. So I'm going to try and go to the one that I don't know how to get to first. Uh, because it, I think it's slightly closer if it's where I think it is. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but let's give it a go. No, absolutely no idea what that was all about. Uh, good news though, shut up. Good news though, I found what I was looking for, which as you might be able to guess from what's behind me, is these bad boys. I couldn't find the footpath that I was looking for to shoot them, but I don't think I'm gonna need it because I think I can get a shot from here. The only slight beef I've got at the moment is that, as you can probably tell, the, the sun is on its way out again. But never mind, as long as I stay here long enough, I should be able to get a shot, so yes! <laughs> Right, change of plan, I've driven 200 yards down the road and found some better stuff to shoot. So, I think what I'm gonna do is stay at this location today and then go home for my tea and then the weather looks okay tomorrow so I think I'll go and do the second location tomorrow. I mean, I know you're probably used to watching lots of different photographers on YouTube really suffer for their shots, camp for days, miss out on food, walk miles, um, I'm not missing my tea. Just remember that I need a thumbnail and I'm a bit of a diva, so I like to have two or three options. So I thought this this might be one of the good options. So just get my get my finger in the right place. That's what she said. Don't think we'll end up using that one, but you never know. Lastly, before I leave this place, I should probably point out that I'm aware that Wales or North Wales where I am must be one of the easiest places in the world to be a photographer. Like, look at it, it's just... Oh, she's a beauty as well, of course. Be, uh, I'd be sad to leave when we move to Manchester, but it's only an hour and a half away. And the parents are here, so... Please don't move away, mum and dad. Back there, I don't know if you can see it, is a big rain cloud, and it's just starting. So, yeah, dinner time. Shoot again tomorrow, as if my mind wasn't made up by dinner already. Right, it's the next morning, the morning after yesterday, obviously, and weather conditions are still perfect. I think there's a bit of rain in the air, but as long as there aren't gaps in the cloud, we're on. And also tea last night was divine, so I'm pleased I didn't miss that. Onwards! <laughs> I have no idea whether you'll be able to hear me properly or not because I've hunkered down a bit but the wind is still blowing quite a lot. I probably need to apologise because I can't really remember what I said or filmed yesterday. So there's a good to firm chance that this video isn't 
a flowing story. But it'll be going live anyway because I've made a little commitment to myself that I'm going to push two videos at least live a week because that's the only way I'm going to get better. So you might have to put with slightly disjointed stories. Nevertheless, I never actually thought it was going to be this tricky making videos just going out with uh, with my camera shooting, but making a bit of a story of it is yeah, it's really hard. So massive hats off to everyone that does it successfully. I still think the easiest videos I've made to date were the ones I made in New Zealand, which were obviously I was just traveling around and all I had to do was fit two weeks of awesome stuff into 10 minutes. So, I mean, who who couldn't do that? Speaking of New Zealand, Emily and I, since we've been back, have been saying how, um, how we can't really believe that we spent nine weeks in a camper van touring around a country that is pretty much exactly the same as Wales. Not that it was a waste of money, we've really enjoyed both of our trips to New Zealand, but it's um, it's very similar to here. I think what I'm trying to say is that if you're a Kiwi uh, and you've not been to the UK or Wales particularly, uh, you'll feel very at home here. So come and check it out. And speaking of Emily, if you've been watching all the videos since the New Zealand ones we did, you'll have probably noticed that that's the last time she featured. Well, she's still about. In fact, she's in a village about five minutes that way. And she was going to come today, but she very kindly offered to help research greetings cards for me. Yep, I'm going to be selling greetings cards with my photos on them. So there won't be a link below in this video, but maybe future videos there will be. Emily's major feedback of these videos so far is that they've been too photographical. Yep, her word, photographical. So I don't know if, if she had a way, I, maybe I'd be doing um, like a lipstick review or something just for her to giggle at maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I'm waffling again, so let me show you where I am. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the exact moment I knew that this video was going to have no structure at all. Now, despite all my best efforts at avoiding the wind, namely using this, um, you can't hear me in any of the clips. As you can see, it's a super dramatic place. Which is a real shame because I had an epic monologue about this place that I was at. I'll give you the short version now. It's called Clin Agii. Clin Agii. Clin Agii. Clin means lake in Welsh. And sadly its history is as dramatic as its looks. So in the 20s, the damn wall completely burst after like five or six days of really, really heavy rain. And obviously all that water went down into the valley and caused loads of destruction. But I was given a really good history lesson about it all today. But you couldn't hear me. Anyway, I wasn't out there taking any particular photos. I've got a couple of loose ideas at the moment for concepts and I thought that might be quite a good place to get a couple of background images for them. Now, in the one or two videos like this I've done previously, a couple of people have said in the comments that they want to see me include some of the images I've taken in the video. And in principle, I don't really have a problem with that. Most photographers who do that sort of video do include the images. The reason that I haven't in the past and the reason I'm still hesitant is that when, say for example, landscape photographers do it, they'll take a photo in a location like that, they'll get home and do some processing and what they'll present you with is the final image. But for me, because I do weird sort of Photoshop concepts, I'm only going to use part of the images that I've taken. And even at the moment, I don't necessarily know which parts. I might want to use the sky, or in this case, I might want to use the wall or the foreground. So the images themselves at the moment are just fairly boring and flat. They're kind of just assets. But compared to all the great landscape photographers that you see on YouTube, these are just fairly horrific. But by all means, I'll show them to you. You just have to bear in mind that they are very flat and boring. Well, I think that's a wrap. I was going to do this wrap up talking bit in the car earlier, but I think on reflection, I was quite annoyed. If you're interested in photography videos that are a bit disjointed and all over the place, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm fairly certain this won't be the last. Cheers.